Um, <clears throat> Adam, um, Kylo Ren looks hilarious and normal. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I have not seen the movie, but in all seriousness, he seems very focused and obsessed. And in my mind, he's like Robert De Niro's character in King of Comedy. Uh, is any of this even approximating <laughs> the truth? Again, I've not seen the movie. If so, I'm a genius. If not, then what? what is he like? Kylo Ren, Rupert Pupkin is what is you Is he Rupert Pupkin? <laughs> and uh, Lawrence, you can answer this question too. Yeah, he makes a lot of videos for his mom. He makes a lot of videos for his mom. Listen yeah. in his basement. Uh, he's, a, he's a great cook. <laughs> You know, he's, he's a Scorpio. <laughs> I, I think he's very unpolished and, and unfinished. And I, I think what JJ and Larry did, uh, keeping all the vocabulary that everyone's very familiar with of Star Wars and the dark side and, and keeping that very much intact, but also adding a kind of recklessness or, or something that's kind of unneat about it that I think people normally associate with uh, the dark side being organized and very, you know, uh, in control and calm and in, in command. I think of the dark side as extremely organized. <laughs> right. Extremely organized in a very evil way. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something that you've continued? Well, uh, Larry, if you want to speak to this, but w one of our thoughts was to try and do something that felt a little bit different in that regard. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> that's why we were so excited about Adam playing this part, because there's never been a character like Kylo in the saga. And um, no, he hasn't got his all together, I would say, <laughs> and uh, and Adam uh, acts it so beautifully because you're, what you're looking at is you know you expect to oh this is some evil genius you know, but what you're getting is all the contradictions and the conflict that people feel. Any one of us can feel at any moment. That's what's so amazing about it, and that, and I think that's what's unique about um, what Adam has done. Um, Lupita, you play a former space pirate who now runs a bar. Um, I'm wondering, uh, this seems sort of, to me, like a female Sam Malone from the American TV show Cheers. <laughs> Does that mean that Yoda is Norm? This may not, you might not know this. I was just going to say, could you talk about your relationship with Yoda? And is it, is it convivial? Sexual. <laughs> Carrie, just tell her a little bit about the show Cheers. Sexual, I said, sexual. <laughs> sexual, okay. <laughs> he was my first love, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a movie I would like to see. <laughs> yeah, that's a good movie, too. Uh, ideas for Disney. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, what? <laughs> the question was, can you talk a little bit about your character's relationship with Yoda, which is something I like to, can she? No. Well, I will say this, no. okay. that uh, in an attempt to save my friend Lupita okay. from this uh, slightly uh, awesomely question. geekly, geeky yes. question, which is that uh, I do believe that Maz and, and Yoda uh, at one point had crossed paths, but that is not something, of course, due to the uh, events of past films happens in this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What he said. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, you recently were in a play on, um, in New York City, and I'm wondering what the experience was acting with other actors versus what I can only imagine in this was at sometimes a very solitary experience shooting this movie. And well, yeah. Fortunately for me, uh, JJ uh, had me be a part of principal photography, so my very first experience of motion capture was on the actual sets with the actual actors. So I, I, I am eternally grateful to him for giving me that uh, because it was a great way to get into this um, wonderful, crazy thing called motion capture. Uh, I got to be on those sets and see those things and feel them. And, and the art direction in this, there's so much detail, even when you're standing on that set, that is, it's mesmerizing. And I think audiences are going to be, they're, they're, they're they're going to have a very immersive experience, much like we had filming it. And um, so it was good to have that. And the physicality is something that then carries on into theater, for sure. And that was the thing that attracted me to the idea of playing motion capture, the, the idea of working on a character that wasn't limited by my, first, my physical circumstances. Mm -hmm. And I could, I could work with my body in new ways. And uh, I've continued that onto the stage. If I can just say one thing that uh, Lupita would not, which is that uh, uh, she was remarkably tireless and 
and willing to experiment with different versions of this character. And it was kind of an amazing thing to discover over various iterations of Maz, what she sounded like, how she moved. Uh, uh, it, it was really, I've never been through this before mm -hmm. with a, an actor where we got to discover again and again and again kind of how to better tell the story we were telling. And it was just, I, I, I always felt guilty every time we started up another session, another, we did custom reshoots, we did some work, <laughs> and every single time uh, Lupita was willing and game and, and deeply committed and into finding Maz Kanata's voice, and I, again, I'm, I'm just uh, eternally grateful. Thank you, JJ. It's confirmed something I came into this thinking, which is that Lupita Nyong'o is a good actress. <laughs> um, I, was, I was shocked to discover she's a spectacular actress. <laughs> it never crossed my mind.